Brought to you by Amon Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. One of the great things about tractor shows, the Orange Spectacular in particular, is the fact that you meet some old friends. And Ben Jewison, we've met you a couple different times at the Orange Spectacular, uh, but you've got another tractor to show off this time. Tell us what it is. Uh, it's a 1959 D14 uh, Grove tractor. Just did all the work on myself. It was complete restoration. It was pretty rusty and needed a lot of work when we first bought it. Now the D-Series was very popular with uh, Alice Chalmers fans back in the day and still yet today. Why do you think this D-14 uh, really stands out? I think they, the D-Series became so popular amongst farmers was one, they were so easy to get on and off. Um, you know, they had like live PTO, uh, high, hand clutch high-low. They just were a really user-friendly tractor that, like John Deere set up so high and stuff, they might have been better for cultivating view, but the Alice Chalmers, I just think, was just a real user-friendly tractor. And like going to barns and stuff, they were low profile. And I just think they were a good tractor that fit small farms of that vintage. Yeah, plenty of power, but yet really handy. Yep, very handy. Yep, real easy to get on and off. The hood sheets come off with just two snaps, easy to, you know, do maintenance on. And I just think that uh, if I was a farmer in the 1959 or 60 area, I probably would have picked an Alice Chalmers. So this D14 is dressed up a little different. We talked about it some, but uh, you wouldn't have found too many like this in Minnesota, I don't think. No, most of these were sold probably, I would guess, down in Florida and maybe out in California. I have never seen another Grove tractor like this. They uh, offered them two different ways. One was just with the Grove fenders. Another option was I got a sales brochure that shows them two different ways. And the other one was a full... Um, orchard metal that covered the operator so they they offered them in two different options that you could have gotten the tractor brand new in. And you think this was pretty good down in Florida and places like that to kind of get your way through some of those tight spaces? Uh, from people I've talked to down in that area I would probably say no and I think that's why they sold not very many Alice Chalmers Grover orchard tractors was they were a little underpowered for the jobs they were wanting to do with them like to do their sprayers, they needed a little bit more horsepower, people said, and I think that's why Case and other brands kind of won the crown down there, I guess you could say. But they, I just don't think they were a good fit for what they were trying to sell in the areas for what they were. And you are one of those guys that does fit into kind of that younger category of uh, tractor collectors. What is it about tractors for you, and what would you say to encourage younger people to get involved? Well, one is we farm, and always had Alice Chalmers, my grandfather did and my dad did and now I farm still with some of the same tractors dad used but I just think it's a great hobby. Younger people, I mean it's just a great way to come to a show with a family to get out in, a, in the fresh air you know and just watch the field demos and learn about our past that is sadly getting forgotten but I just think it's just a great family uh, hobby. It's just something that I hope more people do and I hope the show continues to grow all over the country over the years that to preserve the history for the next generation. And as we stand here today talking to you about your tractor, it's actually your birthday, right? What a way to celebrate at the Orange Spectacular. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't get a better party than this to so many friends here that I've made over the years. They, I mean, you couldn't get a better birthday than to be here at the Orange Spectacular. All right, Ben, thanks for sharing the story of your D14. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Ben Jewison, he's having a birthday today, and the icing on the cake is his prize, Grove Tractor.